School officials in Muskegon Heights are now reviewing their security measures after a couple of teens who weren't students at the school entered Muskegon Heights Public Academy earlier this week. 17-year-old Davon Davis was arrested after police found a loaded sawed-off shotgun in his backpack outside of the school. 24-hour News 8's Coco McAvoy questioned school officials about security at the school and has the report for us tonight from Muskegon Heights. Good evening. The school superintendent says they already have a number of security measures in place, like checking students and their belongings before they enter the school. But in this case, those security measures were bypassed. She says she's grateful for the students, staff, and police officers who acted quickly to avoid a much worse outcome. It started off as a normal day at Muskegon Heights Public Schools Academy when 17-year-old Davon Davis and another individual entered the high school. School superintendent Alina Zachary Ross says they were let in by another student. When they came in, some students uh, immediately identified them. Um, security identified them because they had, you know, known them from that area and they knew that they did not belong to the school anymore, that they were no longer students. Zachary Ross says at the time, no one knew Davis had a weapon, but many students voiced their concerns. The students did warn the uh, security officer that the um, person be careful because he, you know, had typically or had in the past um, had a weapon or had weapons. So. The two left the school once security guards approached them and then police found a sawed off shotgun inside of a backpack Davis was toting. Do you believe there's a security concern at Muskegon Heights Academy? Uh, oh, I definitely uh, feel like our our measures did work. We had security there, right there. Um, they didn't. The the two men did not go at all in our academic hallways um, where our classrooms are. Um, they stayed in the one type of way area. But Zachary Ross says the situation could have been avoided. They had to come to the front door to be buzzed, buzzed in. They wouldn't have been let in by a staff member because they did, there weren't current students and they didn't have a parent there to help enroll them. Um, if it were, they were there for re-enrollment, it could have been a real serious, you know, even a more dangerous situation. And I'm just so grateful, you know, that it wasn't. Davis's bond was set at $100,000 and the school superintendent says they will continue to use those security measures to ensure safety at their school. In Muskegon Heights, I'm Coco McAvoy, 24-Hour News 8.